who should draw Congressional District 1 by Jeffrey Brady. So first I'm going to start with a basic understanding of what redistricting is. Redistricting, according to the ACLU, is the process of redrawing the lines of districts from which public officials are elected. Now, this happens every 10 years after the U.S. Census occurs. Um, states begin a time-consuming process to redraw these lines and uh, just to redraw the election districts, and that's according to redistrictingamerica.org. Uh, normally, the process is the federal and the state districts are drawn first, and then it goes to the local districts. Um, the goal of redrawing these district lines is to allow each district to have equal say as expressed in the Constitution. Uh, in my opinion, the voters should have more control in the say of redrawing and drawing congressional district lines because the district should be based on how the voters want to vote, not how the parties want them to. Um, gerrymandering and its effect on political power. And then just, uh, just a, another point is I'm going to go over what can people do to ensure the, uh, the fairness of redistricting. So first off, we have um, the district should focus on how the people want to vote. Um, the entire point of redistricting is to ensure the fairness. So it, it's not really fair if the, po the entire population is misrepresented because it, it's based on how the parties want the people to vote, not how the population itself wants to vote. Uh, it's, it's meant to represent a change in population and in culture, and it's, it's not supposed to be a representation of the change in political power, say, Democrat or Republican. It's, it's supposed to be how those people want to vote. The second topic is gerrymandering and its effect on political power. Gerrymandering, according to redistrictingamerica.org, is defined as the act of redrawing district lines to influence elections to favor a party, candidate, or ethnic group. So, so this means, or I, I'm going to go over it a little bit more in detail in a couple of minutes. Um, it, it's, uh, it's unfair to, to gerrymander, and it completely affects political power in a district. So down here, I have a visual representation of what gerrymandering would be. So this right here, this would be 60% of that district is Republican and 40% is Democrat. Where over here, we would have five different districts and the majority of all of them is five black. Now, over here is what gerrymandering would be. See, here we have all five of these districts being black. And now, with the gerrymandering, they draw different lines, as you can see here, so that the majority of each district now becomes red instead of black. So now we have three districts that are majority red and only two that are black, where here all five are majority black. So, so this would be a representation of what gerrymandering is and how, it, how it's unfair that these political people are taking drawing these lines just so that instead of having the all of the black be the majority, they change it so that they draw these crazy lines and now it's all red that have the majority. Now third, what can people do to ensure the fairness of redistricting? We as citizens need to stay involved. That's, that's the number one way that we can affect how these lines are drawn and we can stay involved as being as well informed as possible. There's many different websites to go to that that will just inform you of what redistricting is or different websites that tell you the new plans and whatnot. Um, also, we can attend meetings. That There are meetings everywhere in your local government that go over during that time when they're about to start redrawing or in the process of redrawing. They, have, they hold these meetings they're open to the public where you can go to and you can hear what their plans are and say what you need to say in your opinion. 
Um, another thing is we can contact organizations that have influence over these lines. We can, we can call them, we can email them, we can just express what we want to say and how we feel about these lines. And uh, lastly, we can write letters of support and opposition. Now, I, I know in this day and age, writing letters isn't that big of a deal, and email and calling and texting is easier and more convenient, but writing a strongly worded letter, letter of your opinion could be a great way to influence a public official. And um, just a last little note here, we can help achieve the goal of fair and effective representation by actively participating in the process of redrawing district lines.